Florida today, right? Yeah. All right. We just dropped off sister and got her last day picture, so we can do before and after. Are you ready for your last day? What did you like and what did you like about school? Why don't you ask Hallie these questions? Because we got plenty of time. We're waiting in the line. You didn't like it? Are you not a school person? No, I'm not a school person. What? did you like though? Like one thing that you could pick out of school that you did like? Today. Today? Because it's your last day? <laughs> yeah. I feel you on that. I feel you. They said they can leave it. <laughs> Passing period. <laughs> <laughs> Callie, quit crying. I can't. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's your mom. Oh my Make sure you get your back to the You have to calm down, Callie. I really am annoyed with this nurse. I don't know when this nurse is going to get there. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I can just walk in. Yeah, I think it hurts so bad. Give me a chance. We got the bottom of the door. I don't know if you're here. Who is that? It's Addie. Ask her, does she see the nurse to go get the nurse? Because I told that nurse a long time ago to come to Cali and she still hasn't been there. Oh, she's still going. Yeah, oh, I'm going to get <laughs> tell, tell Addie I done told the nurse to come to you. <laughs> Callie, I'm call I'm calling Addie. Hello. Make sure you go get that nurse. I called that school and called that nurse and she told me she was going down there like 15 minutes ago. And that okay, nurse still hasn't been down there. So tell her tell that nurse I'm already almost there, but I want my kid to be like what What's wrong with that nurse? Uh, it's been 15 her. minutes since I called that nurse. Okay, bye. Bye. Who is in there with you now? No one. I'm outside now. I'm out. I'm sitting on the bench. I'm waiting for Addy. Hello. Have she got there yet? Yeah, I'm. I'm going back to her right now. How are you getting there? Wheelchair. Oh, okay. I'll be there. Which entrance are you coming to? Whichever one that I can come to. Um, she's coming to the high school week. Bye. Well, guys, this was going to be, I was going to pick the camera up later when we go pick up the kids and, like, decorate the van. It's the kids' last day of school. What a way to go out with the last day of school. Actually, just was taking a nap, and I must have, like, felt my phone vibrate or something. I had Addie and Callie blow my phone up. And I saw Addie's message say, Mom, Callie's crying. She thinks she broke her ankle. And I, then at that time, Callie was calling me again. So I answer and she's crying so hard, I can't even hear her. And then I find out that this nurse sends Callie back and tells her, go eat lunch. And she can't even walk. And so she makes it to the locker room, hops in there, and just breaks down and cries. And, he'll, and saying she can't feel her, her, she can't fall all the way up to her knee and all that. So I call the school and I'm like um the nurse just sent my daughter back and she can't even walk and she's in the locker room like crying hysterically and I have her sister going to her Addie and their high school and middle school is connected together and Addie um has finals so she wanted to get she was trying to wait for that to be over to get to Cali <sighs> so I am and then they send me over to the nurse and the nurse is like oh I'll go get her and I sat on the phone for 15 minutes until Addie finally got there and went back and go get and got this nurse. So now they're waiting on me. So it's pointless for me to not get Caleb out. Addie still has finals. She's gonna stay there and get 
a ride home from her friend. Caleb, if I leave him there, it takes me 30 minutes almost to get to the school. Caleb um, will be out in like uh, two or three more hours. So if I have to go to the hospital, I won't be able to get Caleb. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just take him out early. And yeah, so. How can I help you, sir, ma'am? I was calling because I'm picking my daughter up from school and I'm, I mean, I don't know if she broke her ankle or her foot, but she called me crying and she can't feel her knee, all, all the way up to her knee from her ankle, she felt it pop. And I never had anything like this happen, so I have no clue, like, do I call you guys or? So in cases of like broken bones and stuff like that, or potentially broken bones or torn ligaments, stuff like that, um, urgent care or emergency room would be a much better option than us. Because even if we could, like, we could, the doctor is here to tell you whether or not it's broken, but that would be the extent. Yeah. That we don't have the equipment to splint it or x-ray machine or anything like that that we would need to verify that it's broken and okay. all that good junk. Do you guys know what hospital she would go to or does it just matter? So yeah, it, it, it's completely up to you. You can go to Riley. All right. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope uh, her name isn't broken it's I just know. like very very bruised or something Me too. Definitely broken. Broken? Yeah, that looks broken. All right, we gotta pick up Shut Caleb. Up. Sprained? I literally can't even walk on it. It's like Hi. numb. Like I tried to walk on it and it's numb. I, I don't think. I heard oh, it oh, pop. Okay. It literally popped. Like I jumped up and I laid it on it and it went boom. Like I can't even explain it. Like I've never thought this would ever happen. I can't even explain ice cream. It. Well, Addie's gonna stay here. We're gonna pick up Caleb because it's pointless. We're gonna get him back in time. That's why Addy wanted money from me. Right there. All right, let's go. Got you now, you're with me. Well, you're stuck on the hospital with us. No. Caleb, seatbelt now. Why can I have safety? Because I won't, probably won't have time to come back and get you. But there's only seventh graders. That's what I'll be doing right now. But you're not because broke, broke that, broke that crap, okay. broke that thing. I broke got my third piece of pizza, and then poor Callie, you're oh. doing your last day. Caleb, what? get in the seat now. What are we doing? Seatbelt. Seat belt. I'm not even wearing her seatbelt. Yes, Caleb, yeah, she is wearing her seatbelt. All right, got the kids. Hospital next. Mom's going to get a wheelchair for me. I actually just realized I probably won't even let. I don't even know about Caleb. I don't know how that works. I can't get all the way over there. Nope. Don't go on your feet, Gally. Don't go on that one foot. Ow. Holy crap. Turn. Sam. Hold this stuff for me. So now we're in the waiting room, waiting. Um, I walked out so fast I didn't know if I had everything. I look like crap in the waiting room. What are you making? Oh, it's a mask. I was like, what did you just create? Looks like this one is going down a little. How you feel right now? You feel better with me at least? <laughs> How do you feel? I want to go back to school. What? Let's go. Daddy's here to pick you up. 
Be right back, Kelly. I'm just cracking it, Kelly. Is your stuff in my van? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna go out here, Caleb. Look, you're gonna go out here, and there's the front door. Your dad will be out there. So walk up there. Don't walk all the way there. Love you. Travis got Caleb, and we're in what they call the ghetto room, right? It's like we're in the storage room. But they just gave her some ibuprofen, and then we're doing x rays. We decided for x rays. Dun, dun, dun. The doctor came in. We haven't done the x rays yet, but she's thinking it's a fracture. So we'll see. No break. No break. But the x rays might say Six. otherwise. Swollen. Yeah. Keep that door closed. You were in that room before. How'd the x-ray go? Hurt. I got you some pictures and videos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see that. for the life of us this thing was up like this sorry wrong foot that thing was up like this we couldn't figure out how to get it down so if you ever wonder there's a little button right here that's how the waiting game right the waiting game so we'll just relax just chilling yep a broken bone uh, broken <laughs> yep same thing yep um and so what that means is we're putting in a split here. Can I have you uh yeah perfect so you can be strong enough to hold it like that for a second? Yeah. You seem strong, so um splint? Yep, we're gonna put you in a splint. The reason we do a splint here is because there's usually swelling when we have factors. And so we want to make sure that the swelling goes down before you're actually put in a pony in case cast. But when you go to orthopedics, I'm gonna have to use, use it. I'm gonna have a cast. Not necessarily. That's what I was getting to. So when you go to orthopedics, I'm being really conservative. But orthopedics might say, "Oh, hey, actually, this isn't in a super bad spot. You don't need the, the cast." So they might just put you in that post tissue that I talked about with the heart attack. I suspect that that's probably gonna be the case. But I'm not orthopedics, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. How does that happen? Do I call them or they call me? Um, so I put a referral in. They okay. The referral service is like they're supposed to call you. Does that happen? Do yeah. <laughs> so I always tell people you call them. Okay. And she'll have to wait. Um, okay. It would be like, I mean, Sunday would probably be the ideal day. Okay. But yeah, like you said, they're not going to okay. be so. Okay. Um, okay. So I made this pretty short just because the fracture's in her foot. So there's no point in completely no walking through. So you'll need to get some crutches. Okay. So you can get them from like CVS um, for like, I think it's like $25. Yeah. Um, and then you can return them to that. Oh, okay. So just basically lay around, elevate it. Okay. Yeah. If you want to ice it, you can put ice on the top because it doesn't wrap all the way around. Okay. So that'd be good. Mine's well. this. I go out every single day after school, and I've been ready for summer, so I can stay out all night, uh -huh. ride my bike, and no Florida now, too. Always happens like that, right? Hang on. I'm gonna pull the van up, okay? You need a ride? Yeah. Oh. You can call and call him on your phone. 
All right, we got a broken Callie. She definitely got a fracture, if you heard. We have to go get her crutches now. I just wanna go home because I don't feel good. I have all these ideals. Look, I've had decorations hidden in here to decorate the van today, buy you guys some food. And here we are. All them plans went out the window. Let's call Trav Daddy. Hello. Well, no going to Florida even if we wanted to. Why? Because Callie has a broken foot. And well, uh, why can't we go to Florida? Monday she has to go get to orthopedics. You get a cast. Oh, you just mean right now. Yeah. Okay, we're on a mission. What are we trying to find? Hold this real quick. Left in the keys. All right. Where are they gonna be at? Right here. Oh, dang. She said twenty-four dollars. Does it? Forty-nine. I'm about to just go back to a flea market. Well, you guys, I went into CVS to go get her crutches because the doctor said to at least be $25 and they refund your money. Um, and no, how about $59? So I'm at my, um, I'm at my flea market where I sell stuff because I have a pair in there. Just hopefully they haven't been sold yet. So, so we'll see. So I'm bottom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do not want to go back. You want to get in the cart? Yeah. What is all this? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, how I about you get in the cart? Down. Get in the cart and I'll push you. Oh, I'll Hang just on. Get right here. Just let me get right here and push me. I'm going this way. I can feel something like bouncing up the side down. Look for um, crutches. If you find a pair, you can start using them. You can make them taller on the bottom. Yeah. They get taller. All right, ready? Well, my booth didn't have my crutches no more, but we did find a pair for fifteen dollars. So way better than fifty-nine dollars. Where to now? Sell it for like $15 again. Yeah, we'll just put them back in the booth and resell them. So, all right. So it seemed like it's the same, it's like literally the same as CBS because they're, she said they're like 15, but. There goes my balloon right there. See it? <laughs> Boom. Oh, shoot. I have it zoomed up. There it goes. There she goes. <sighs> I bought a bunch of stuff for summertime and I'm gonna go get some pizza. At all this is what I was gonna do before I picked you guys up, but here I am, so. <sighs> okay, we're back at home. We're doing what I wanted to originally do. Have everything set up. One thing I didn't get to do is put, you know, like, congratulations, you know, on to summer break. But, Chelsea's getting into everything, so it all won't set here long. We just got a bunch of water guns, some outdoor stuff, all Dollar General, Dollar Tree, whatever candy balloon we got pizza stuff like that so bubby's about to be here soon and um yeah so we have some fun yeah i've been in the hospital with her i actually broke my foot we've been in the hospital the whole time summertime oh my gosh this this is our summer pack yeah, I'm going to take a picture with your team and your award. I got you. What award? I got an award? Oh, yes, it's for robotics. What? Well, no, and I'll bring one of those back. Each one of you guys take it. I want to do what you want to do. Turn around. Look at Trusty. <laughs> Ready? Thank you. Hey, we're going to get a summer fun pack. I got your award. Bye. Summer fun pack. Time to bump it. Do it. Oh. Ready, Sissy? Watch out! Here goes Bubby! Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Two, one, go! It's summertime! Yeah, but it's a 
Ready? Set. Woo! I can take you anywhere. Somewhere. We won't be scared.